Hello, welcome. Today's video is about the things narcissists never feel and the reasons behind it. While narcissists can display a wide range of behaviors, there are specific emotions they simply don't experience. Let's explore what those emotions are, why they're absent, and how this shapes the narcissist's life and relationships. Let's start with the big one, remorse. Narcissists never feel true remorse. Why? Because for them, admitting guilt or feeling regret means giving up control. Narcissists need to maintain a sense of superiority and dominance in every interaction, and feeling remorse would mean acknowledging that they made a mistake, something that threatens their need for control. Here's what happens when you confront a narcissist. They may offer an insincere apology or deflect the blame onto you, but these are just manipulative tactics. Narcissists use fake apologies like, I'm sorry you're upset, but notice, it's not real remorse. They aren't sorry for their actions, they're just trying to manipulate the situation to keep control over you. Real remorse would require a narcissist to confront their own flaws, admit wrongdoing, and feel empathy for the pain they caused. But narcissists don't allow themselves to be vulnerable in this way. Remorse is a sign of weakness in their eyes, and it would slow them down from pursuing their goals, like gathering supply and control. Next, we have love. Narcissists are incapable of feeling true love. While they may imitate love in the beginning stages of a relationship, showering their partner with attention and affection, it's not real love. It's a tactic known as love bombing, designed to draw you in and secure control. Narcissists can't feel love because love requires emotional vulnerability, empathy, and a genuine concern for the well-being of others. Once they feel they have secured your admiration and control, the loving behavior fades and their true manipulative nature comes out. To them, love is just another tool to get what they want, emotional energy, admiration, or control. Next is happiness. While narcissists might claim they're happy, the truth is they don't experience happiness the way emotionally healthy people do. What they're really experiencing is a sense of power. When a narcissist says they're happy, it's usually because they feel in control or are getting the attention they crave. Here's a key difference. Happiness, for most people, comes from emotional connection, fulfillment, and shared experiences. But for narcissists, happiness is simply the byproduct of power. If they feel admired, if they're controlling the narrative, or if they've manipulated someone successfully, that's what they'll call happiness. But it's not true joy. It's a temporary feeling tied to their control over a situation or person. Narcissists are always seeking more supply and admiration. Their sense of happiness comes from external validation not from an internal sense of peace or contentment. When the admiration or attention fades, so does their happiness, leaving them needing more. Now let's talk about sadness. Narcissists don't feel sadness the way most people do. Sadness requires a certain level of emotional depth and empathy, and narcissists simply don't have that. Instead, when faced with loss or disappointment, narcissists often feel frustration, anger, or self-pity, but never true sadness. Imagine a narcissist at a funeral. They might give a touching speech or even cry, but their display of sadness is often a performance to fit in with social expectations. Inside, they're not feeling genuine grief for the loss of another person. Instead, they're likely thinking about how the situation affects them. Maybe they've lost a source of supply, or maybe they're annoyed their attention is not on them. Narcissists lack the empathy needed to truly feel sadness for others. Even in personal setbacks, they don't feel sad. They feel frustrated that they're not getting what they want. Some narcissists, especially mid-range ones, might show self-pity, but this is usually a manipulative tactic to gain sympathy and more supply. Next is joy, true joy, the kind that comes from emotional connection, inner peace, or seeing others succeed, is something narcissists simply cannot feel. 
Joy is often tied to emotional fulfillment and empathy for others, and narcissists lack the capacity for both. Even when they claim to feel overjoyed, it's not real joy. For narcissists, any feeling of excitement is directly linked to gathering supply, the admiration or attention they're getting. If they're being celebrated, it makes them feel powerful, not truly joyous. Their emotional responses are always tied to how much control or validation they're getting from those around them. Greater narcissists are often aware of this. They know they don't experience joy, but they'll still talk about it as part of their facade. They'll claim to feel joy in certain situations because it helps them fit in and maintain control, but it's all about appearances, not a genuine emotional experience. One thing narcissists will never feel is contentment. Narcissists are always driven by a need for more. More control, more admiration, more success. Contentment requires being satisfied with what you have, and narcissists can never reach that point. They're constantly restless and seeking more supply. Even when they achieve something significant, narcissists can't feel content. They might experience a temporary sense of power or validation, but it fades quickly, leaving them searching for the next source of narcissistic supply. Their emotional world is one of constant need, and contentment doesn't fit into that. Greater narcissists are aware of this. They know they'll never be satisfied, but they see this endless pursuit as part of their drive for power and control. Lesser narcissists and most mid-range narcissists on the other hand, may not even realize why they feel restless or dissatisfied, but they're always on the hunt for more. Another emotion narcissists can't feel is guilt. Guilt requires taking responsibility for one's actions and feeling bad about how those actions affect others. But narcissists are experts at avoiding accountability. If they admitted guilt, it would threaten their control over the situation. When a narcissist is confronted, they'll use a variety of tactics to avoid guilt. They might deflect, blame someone else, or even gaslight you into thinking it's your fault. Guilt would force them to see their actions for what they are, and that's something they can't handle. Their entire persona is built around being superior and faultless. Mid-range narcissists might pretend to feel guilt, especially if it helps them manipulate someone into forgiving them or giving them more supply. But real guilt, the kind that comes from deeply regretting an action, is something they will never experience. Finally, narcissists don't feel loneliness in the way we do. While most people experience loneliness as a longing for emotional connection, narcissists are focused on maintaining their supply network. Even when they're physically alone, they don't feel lonely because they're constantly thinking about their next source of control or admiration. Narcissists might say they'd feel lonely as a manipulative tactic, but it's not true. They are always surrounded by sources of supply, whether it's through direct contact, social media, or even just the anticipation of future interactions. Their need for emotional connection is replaced by their need for power and validation. Even when they're isolated, narcissists don't sit and reflect on their loneliness. They don't miss the deep connections they've lost because they never truly had them. Their focus is on maintaining control over their sources of supply, not forming meaningful emotional bonds. And now, let's talk about one bonus emotion narcissists can feel, and that's hate. Narcissists do feel hate, but it's very different from the deep, lasting hate that emotionally healthy people might experience. For a narcissist, Hate is tied to frustration and a loss of control. Narcissists feel hate when they lose control over someone or when their ego is threatened. Especially, lesser narcissists may be dangerous when that happens. If narcissists feel rejected, criticized, or challenged, they can experience intense but often short-lived feelings of hate. It's a response to a loss of power or damage to their ego. This hate is often fleeting and situational, driven by their need for dominance. At the core, narcissists live in a hollow emotional world. They can't truly feel the things that make relationships meaningful. 
they can't feel remorse, love, happiness, sadness, joy, contentment, guilt, or loneliness in the way emotionally healthy people do. But when their control is threatened, they are fully capable of feeling hate. This emotional void is what drives their manipulative and self-centered behavior. If you're dealing with a narcissist, understanding the emotions they lack can help you break free from their manipulations. Remember, they can't change the way they feel, or rather, the way they don't feel. Please like, share and subscribe for YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.